Hi, I'm Pat Ray, Pioneer Field Agronomist. In this Pioneer Agronomy video, I will cover how to determine if you have the stand you planned. We're off to a slow start in 2022 and planting conditions have been cool and wet so far in Illinois. These unfavorable conditions can increase the time it takes for corn and soybeans to emerge and negatively impact stands. Soybeans typically need around 130 growing degree days to emerge. This soybean field near Mansfield was planted on April 19th and started to emerge 13 days later on May 2nd. Once the crop emerges, how do you know if you have the stand you plan? The two methods I use are low resolution stand counts and high resolution stand counts. Let's first take a look at low resolution stand counts. This is probably a refresher for most of you. The most common way to evaluate stands, you simply count the number of plants in a specified area. For example, in 30 inch rows, measure off 17 feet 5 inches, which is equal to 1 1,000th of an acre. Count the number of corn plants the first row has. In this case, we've got 34. And the adjacent row has 36 for an average between the two rows of 35. Multiply that by 1,000, and we have 35,000 plants per acre. So essentially, our resolution for this stand count is 1 1,000th of an acre. This can be repeated in several areas of the field. At 15 inch rows, I follow the exact same procedure as 30 inch rows, but instead of averaging the counts from two rows, I add those two counts together because 1 1,000th of an acre in 15 inch rows is 34 feet 10 inches. Here's an actual example out in the field where I've stepped off 1 1,000th of an acre and in the process of counting the viable plants. I don't carry a tape measure with me out in the field. I simply calibrate my boots at the beginning of the season. And for my boots, 15 steps and a heel is equal to 1 1,000th of an acre. Now let's switch gears and talk about high resolution stand counts. High resolution stand counts utilize a drone and software that was developed by Pioneer. I was fortunate to test this beta program back in 2018. So 2022 will be my fifth season collecting high resolution stand counts. And this method, let me tell you, is a real game changer. The software is very easy to set up and use. After everything's set up, you run a pre-flight checklist, make sure everything is safe, launch the drone, and that drone will be capturing images throughout the field. In each one of those images, you'll know the exact population, the spacing, how many gaps per acre there are, and so like in this example, we've got 35,500 for an average population. The corn plants are spaced 5.72 inches apart on average, and there are 2,578 gaps per acre, that's these yellow rectangles out there, that are greater than 12 inches or more. Within minutes of the drone returning, a report is generated summarizing the entire field. This report can be sent via text or email before leaving the field. You might notice this green stand count here at 46,000. Is this a mistake? Can the high resolution stand data be trusted? I could not leave this field without knowing the answer. And yes, that area really had 46,000 plants per acre. You can see that the planter stopped for an issue, perhaps to pick up a rock, or maybe there was some type of row issue. When you look at the left side of the photo, you see the normal population. On the right side, we've got a much higher population. And so yes, this spot was at 46,000 on average. Environment, genetics, and seed quality are going to determine your stands, and Pioneer has a real stand advantage. The reason that, for that is we've been in the business for over 95 years. Our genetics have a proven record to tolerate cold, wet conditions. We have high-quality seed that's screened by the Pioneer stress test, and we use the Lumigen seed treatment package with an excellent fungicide mix and different modes of action to keep that seed safe out in the field. Thank you for watching this Pioneer Agronomy video, and be sure to contact your local Pioneer seed rep if you need an expert to help evaluate your stands. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.